Spring and summer is my time for wearing dresses and jumpsuits. So let's get ready to brainstorm some ideas. Hi, my name is Sarah and welcome to my channel, which is all about sewing and styling a handmade wardrobe. I love wearing dresses and jumpsuits in the spring and summer. I tend not to wear them in the fall and winter. So I've come up with way too many ideas for sewing dresses and jumpsuits for this season. And there's no way I'm gonna get to them all, but I thought I would share with you what's kind of going on in my mind. And hopefully I will end up making at least a few of these. Now I have several different patterns to share with you. Some of them I've sewn before and some of them I haven't. And they also cover a wide variety of occasions from casual lounging around the house on up to fancy dresses. So let's get to the patterns. First, I wanna start with patterns that I would like to revisit. I've made these at least one time before and I'm gonna be popping up a picture of my previous make so you can see what it looks like. The first pattern is Pattern Emporium's Every Day is a Weekend Dress. Now, if you are a longtime viewer of the channel, you're probably sick of me talking about this dress, but it is my favorite and I have been wanting to make another one. I also bought the fitted bodice add-on for this dress. So you can make a bodice that's a little bit more fitted, obviously, and I think I wanna try that for my next version. This pattern comes in Australian sizes four to 30. The first version that I made is my favorite day dress. It is so comfortable and easy to wear and I find myself just throwing it on for lounging around the house. But you can also dress it up and it looks really nice. I've worn it to work before, I've worn it out on a date. So I really would like to sew at least one more and this pattern has so many different options that you could make many, many different dresses in different lengths with different necklines, with different sleeves. So I do wanna make another one of those fairly soon. The next pattern I'd like to revisit is the Stay Stitch Pattern Company Lola dress. This comes in sizes US 0 to 28. Now I have made a tank version of this, but I have not yet made the dress. I was really unsure about this racer front style at first, but after I made the tank top, I absolutely loved it. I feel like it really suits me. And for my version, I added a shelf bra with some foam cups, and so I don't have to wear a bra with it, and it's super comfortable. I'd probably do the same thing if I made the dress. Now, in the pattern cover, the dress is a long maxi length dress with slits on the sides. I don't know if I wanna make a maxi dress. I might just wanna do like an above the knee dress, but either way, I wanna make one of those dresses for the summer because it's just so comfortable. It's a little bit sporty. You could throw it on with sneakers and just have a really casual, fun dress. The next pattern that I would like to revisit is the Ready to Sew Jazz Jumpsuit. Now this is an ebook that comes with mix and match bodices and um, you have pants or shorts or there's even skirt options. You can make 80 different versions of a jumpsuit or a dress with this one pattern. It comes in European sizes 32 to 52 and I made two versions last year. I made both of them as the short overalls and I really love those, they're super comfortable. But I would like to try one of the other bodices just to see what it looks like and maybe do the full jumpsuit. So I haven't decided yet exactly what version that I wanna try but I do know that I wanna make one of those at some point this year. The next pattern that I want to revisit is the Deer and Doe Sirocco jumpsuit. It comes in sizes European 34 to 60. I've made two versions of this jumpsuit and both of them were the full pants length jumpsuit. I'd actually like to try the romper version for this year. My friend Teresa from Lost My Thread has made a version of the romper, maybe a couple of versions, and they just look so cute and comfortable. I made a couple of cotton spandex jersey rompers that I've been wearing for the past couple of years, but the fabric wasn't very good quality, so they're kind of like bagged out and stretched out and I really need to replace them. So I would like to make this romper at some point as a replacement for one of those, just for lounging around, but I think it's also cute if you want to run out to do errands in it or something like that. I probably wouldn't wear a romper to work, but otherwise I think that it's good for casual wear. And the last pattern that I would like to revisit, I think I've been saying this for a while now, is the True Bias Shelby dress. This comes in sizes US 0 to 30. Now I have made the short dress and sad story, I don't have that dress anymore because the hem was uneven and when I went to try to level out the hem, I actually shortened it too much so I couldn't wear the dress anymore so I had to get rid of it. But I do really love the style of it. I think this time around I might wanna try the romper version. I'm not quite sure. I definitely wanna do the short one but I don't know if I wanna do the dress or the romper. I do have some rayon in my stash that would work really nicely for this design. So I don't know that I'm gonna to get to this right away because I do need to make some fit adjustments. When I made my original version, I didn't know as much about making small bust adjustments and things like that. So I do need to adjust the pattern, but I really would like to revisit it because the style is just really cute. Now let's move on to the patterns that I haven't made before. The first one is for a pattern that I actually don't own yet. It's the Apolline Patterns Lapalosa. I might be saying that wrong, I'm sorry. 
It's a dress pattern and it comes in sizes European 32 to 48, so not a great size range. The reason that I'm thinking about buying this dress pattern is because it is extremely similar to a Cezanne dress that I absolutely love and want to recreate. I'll stick up a picture of the Cezanne dress and you can see that the style is really similar. So the Apolline pattern actually comes with both sleeveless and sleeved. And so I could basically just duplicate that Cezanne dress using this pattern. Now, the reason I haven't purchased the pattern yet is because I'm pretty sure the instructions are only in French. And although I have enough experience at this point that with Google Translate, I probably should be able to put it together, even though the instructions aren't in English, I'm just a little bit nervous about it, a little bit hesitant, and that's why I haven't decided to dive in. But I do really love the look of the dress. I think it's so pretty, so it's definitely high up on my wish list for now. The next one is a pattern that I do own. It's the Closet Core Sally Jumpsuit. It comes in sizes US 0 to 20. And the version that I'm interested in is the jumpsuit that has the cap sleeves with the little tie in the back. I just think that that would be so incredibly comfortable. It's another one that I'm thinking about possibly cutting it off and making it into a romper rather than a full jumpsuit. I don't have fabric in my stash that's appropriate for this, but I'm thinking maybe something like a viscose jersey would be really nice and a fun print for summer. The next one is another pattern that I don't own yet. It's the Style Arc Leah Knit Wrap Dress. This one comes in sizes Australian 4 to 30. Now the reason this one's on my list is because lately I've really been wanting to sew a knit wrap dress that has a collar, very similar to the 70s Diane von Furstenberg original wrap dress. I've never made a dress like that before, but I really do like the style. And so actually I'm open to pattern suggestions on this. If you know of any other knit wrap dress patterns that have the collar, it can either be a faux wrap or a true wrap. That part doesn't really matter to me. Please let me know because this one is on my list, but I haven't seen a lot of people make it up. So I'm still open to looking for different patterns that might fit the bill. Let me know in the comments if you have one. The next pattern that I would love to make, but I haven't sewn yet, is McCall's 8177. This comes in sizes 6 to 24. Now, I prepped this pattern a few years ago. I think I bought the pattern pretty much right when it was released, and I was going to make it, and I can't remember now why I decided not to. I want to say that I didn't have enough fabric, so like I had cut out the pattern in my size and prepped it and had it ready to go, and then I didn't end up cutting it out. I think because the fabric that I had chosen, um, I just didn't have enough yardage, so I had to make something else. So I would really love to make that pattern because I think that it's beautiful with the sweetheart neckline, with the princess seams and those puffy sleeves. It is quite similar to the True Bias Shelby, and actually there's probably gonna be some others on this list that are kind of in that same vein. I won't make all of these dresses. I'll probably just pick one and make that, but it's definitely on my list of styles that I would like to try for this season because I do really like the way that it looks. Now, before we go any further, if you're enjoying this video, I would appreciate it so much if you would hit the like button because it helps more people find my channel. Thank you so much for your support. The next one is another one in that same sort of vein. It's an out of print vintage pattern, McCall's 8852. It comes in sizes eight to 24. And this is another button down dress that has a V-neck. I really like the version that has the flat collar. I have some fabric in my stash that's like a Lyocell denim fabric and I've been wanting to make a denim shirt dress forever. And so I think this one might be the one. I would probably make a longer version, a midi length or even like a maxi length. I'm not quite sure yet, but I would really like to sew that up because I think that would be absolutely beautiful and so practical too because like a denim or a chambray shirt dress will just work with so many different occasions and styles. The next pattern is new look 6696. This comes in sizes six to 18. This is a very streamlined 90s style dress. It has a big slit up the front and then it has an open back. I love the style of this, but it is sort of a more limited use kind of thing because it's not something that I would wear to work with that open back. But it is the kind of style that would look beautiful for a date, maybe like for my birthday perhaps, or if I were going to a wedding, which I don't think that I am this year, but you never know. But I do really love the look of the dress. I think that it's just a gorgeous style and it would make a beautiful, fancier occasion dress. And honestly, who says that you really need an occasion to wear an occasion dress? Sometimes you just want to feel pretty. The next one is Pattern Emporium Field of Dreams dress. It comes in Australian sizes 4 to 30. 
Now this one is on my list because I have the fabric for it. I just need to make the dress. I had bought three different colors of the same linen gingham fabric and I wanna make a color block tiered dress. The only thing that I can't decide on this one is whether I wanna make a mini dress or whether I wanna go full maxi. I just can't make up my mind and that's why I haven't made it yet. But I would really love to make this up for the summer because I think it would just be so incredibly comfortable in that linen fabric. And I'm excited about the idea of color blocking because I just think that would work really well for my style. This next one is another pattern I've had in my stash for quite a while but haven't sewn it yet. It's the Sew Over It Kitty Dress. It comes in sizes UK 8 to 20. Now there's several different options with this dress but my favorite one is the sleeveless version that has the camp style collar. The reason I like this so much is because the sleeveless bodice kind of cuts in at the shoulders a little bit and it's just very, very flattering for someone who has stronger shoulders like I do. And then I believe you also have options for either a gathered or a paneled skirt. I would probably make the paneled skirt. The only thing holding me back from making this one is that I haven't quite found the right fabric. I'm thinking that probably something with a little bit of structure like a cotton poplin or maybe like a linen blend would be best for this sort of dress but I haven't quite found the right print or the right color that I wanna use for it. Let me know in the comments if you were making this dress, what kind of fabric you would use because I don't think that a fluid rayon would be right for the style, but let me know if I'm wrong. The next pattern is the Vicky Sews Rollies dress. This comes in sizes Russian 34 to 46, and it's in Russian only. So I bought this pattern a couple of years ago before Vicky Sews started releasing patterns in English, so the whole thing is in Russian. The reason why I feel like I could go ahead and make this dress is because I am now a Vicky Sews brand ambassador. I've sewn many of their patterns, and I feel like I kind of understand the cadence of their instructions and how they have you put things together. So even though the instructions are all written in Russian, I feel pretty confident that I could get through it without too much trouble. Trouble. The other thing about this dress is that it's extremely similar in style to the Esther dress, which I just made. Basically, the only differences are that it's a short length versus a long length. It's more of an A-line skirt rather than a gathered skirt. And then the neckline is a sweetheart neckline rather than a square neck. Otherwise, the style is incredibly similar. So I feel like I should be able to put this together if I wanted to. I think that it is a really, really cute, flirty style dress. But it is another one that's pretty similar in style to a lot of the other dresses that I've been mentioning. So I'm still trying to percolate in my head and just figure out which one that I want to make. And at some point I will actually make a final decision and then make something. This next one is for another knit romper. It's McCall's 8028. It comes in sizes small to extra large and this is digital only on the website. It must be discontinued. They don't have the paper patterns in stock anymore on the Something Delightful website, but you can still get it as a digital download. I have the paper version from when I bought it from Joann's a while ago. This is a really simple knit romper or jumpsuit. It just has elastic that goes around the neck and then there's some elastic in the waist, so it's very easy to get it on and off. I think that would be another one that's perfect for lounge wear. I would definitely make the romper in this one. I don't think that I would wear the jumpsuit, but I do need to find some fabric, some nice stable cotton jersey and fun prints. And I haven't quite found yet what I'm looking for, so I'm still searching for fabric on that one. The next one is Style Arc Mildred Jumpsuit. It comes in sizes Australian 4 to 30. Now this one I won as a prize and I, or a giveaway and I can't remember exactly what it was for so I'm not gonna say in case I'm wrong, but I did get this pattern for free. I'm still debating between this pattern and the next one that I'm gonna share with you. I would like to make some more loungewear overalls. Now although they do show the picture with it worn without anything underneath, I would probably wear it over a t-shirt or a tank top, something more of an overall style rather than a jumpsuit. I do really like the wide legs on this pattern. It looks very, very comfortable, and I'm pretty sure there's no closures. You just step into it, and it's really, really loose. This next pattern that I have to share is the Waves and Wild Heyday Dungarees. It comes in sizes extra, extra small up to 7XL. And actually, this is another one that I won in a giveaway, so I was very lucky and very grateful to receive that. My friend Cherie Thomas has made several versions of this and they all look so amazing. They look very, very comfortable. And I definitely find that I wear my overalls, both the short and the long versions, all the time when I'm at home. It's just the most perfect, comfortable loungewear piece. The only reason why I haven't tried this pattern to date is because the pattern doesn't come with finished garment measurements. And so I'm finding it a little bit tricky to determine what size that I need because I do tend to fall in between a few different sizes. So I'm just kind of not sure what size that I should print out and tape together. 
Of course, once I do do that, I could easily just measure the pattern and make my decision then, but yeah, I'm still debating on that one. Plus, I can't decide if I wanna make this one or if I wanna make the Mildred. Let me know in the comments if you like this one better or if you like the Mildred. I think that they would both be great, but I probably really, in a practical sense, only make one of them this year. I do have some nice linen in my stash that I think would work really well for either one. So I'm hoping to make up my mind at some point and make one of them because I could really use some more comfy loungewear. Now, if you are just not into dresses and jumpsuits and you would rather sew some pretty woven tops, watch this video next. 